what's up fellas, how you doing? It's your boy Alan back again for 2014. This is like another another year for me, seven years now. So here I am, YouTube, still around. I'm making this video right now because I posted some pictures on the forum about uh, this extended, uh, adjustable arm video camera holder. It takes less than 10 minutes time to build this. Uh, as you can see, this was done from an adjustable light, which cost me around 12 bucks from Walmart. Now, you don't need to use this one exactly. I have this right here, which is obviously an older version of it. I got this at the Goodwill for five bucks. Once I show you how to construct it, and once it's all said and done, I'm gonna show you how it comes in handy for my videos. It's, the point about making this is so that I can have this on my workbench, and what will happen is, I can't show you right now because the video camera is recording, but I'll be able to show it to you next. This will be face down, right next to me, like this. And it will be facing the work I'm doing without, you know, being in the way. Because you see the arm will be adjustable. So I can bring it down and do it just like this as I'm working. And it's like just above my head. And I can adjust it on the layout too, where I could bring it down and make it so the train goes, you know, right underneath it. Like as if you're standing on a bridge for it. So this is gonna come in handy many many ways. It doesn't take any tools depending on the kind of uh, tripod you use. You can see this is it right here. This is all that I've done and this is from my tripod. As you see this piece right here comes off. It's the head of the tripod and it comes right off and I built this based around this. This concept is what made me build this. So this is how it begins. Understanding you will no longer need the light part of it. It's not even gonna matter so Go ahead and put that right out. You're gonna you're gonna pull it all out anyway, so because you're not gonna need it. So one of the tools you're gonna need is the Dremel, and the other tool will be some pliers. Uh, as you can see, this is it right here. This part is held on by rivets. The back part, as you can see right there. I'm just going to use the Dremel to grind that part off. I should have safety glasses on, so you should have them too, but I couldn't find mine, so I just don't give a shit. As long as my son's behind me and he's not looking, we'll give it a try. <laughs> there you go. Popped right off. So here it is. Those are the two rivets holding it onto here, leaving you with this little piece right there. This piece that's right there, I'm just going to use pliers and turn it and twist it. You're gonna wanna just twist this so that you can make sort of like a little bit of a loop. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Just like this. Straighten out some areas. There you go. You kinda just, it was like a big old C. You kinda just close it like this, you know? Hopefully I didn't close it too much. And I can just. Take this and slide it through. There you go. Take this, slide it through. As you can see, this is it. This is as simple as that, that is to build. Pretty easy, right? You want to turn it down, boom, bring it up. you want. This thing is nice and sturdy. We'll, we'll hold the camera because the camera doesn't weigh a ton. And here it is. Quick easy build, huh? Now I'm going to show you pictures of the one that I built. So you can check out the pictures of the actual one just so you can see them up close and see how it looks right now.
Nice, right? Looks pretty cool. Now, to show you how this actually works out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this one, and I'm gonna show you as I solder some of my Monster LED kits. As you guys know, I've been doing the Monster LED kits. So, if you haven't got any, make sure you get some on eBay. Check out the link right below. There it is. That's the link. Monster LEDs. I'm doing these, and as you know, I'm gonna sit here and solder, and I'm gonna show you how this is going to come in handy hovering above me so I can actually show people how it's done. So let's take a look at that right now. Okay, as you can see right here in this video, this is why I built this adjustable arm video camera holder. It's gonna come in handy right here. As I show people how I do things, having both my hands exposed and I can adjust this camera up, down, see how smooth that just rolls? And it's just on, it's just on the camera arm thing is that it's not in my way I can still see the actual LCD screen in the camera so I can see what I'm doing but it's not in my way it's not hovering over my shoulder but it gives you the look of exactly what I see now just to give you an idea what I'm doing with these LEDs so what I do is I get my solder on the tip there you go got it on the tip then I solder right on like that. Bring it down a little bit closer. So you can see what it's like when it's really close. And here we go. I'm going to show you how to do one more right quick, just how I do it. So that you understand why this uh, adjustable camera arm comes in handy for someone like me and maybe someone like you so you can build one. There you go, they're both on there. Now this is what it looks like when I'm working. So you see how this can be moved. Or down just like that damn good idea damn good idea uh, getting a tripod to be in a position where you actually see you know like on your head is very hard if you have the camera on your head every jerk you do every move it's not gonna be a good idea on your head so those GoPro cameras it's not the idealistic way this is actually the way this is perfect for it as you move it all around working on things looking for stuff grabbing things and it's face downward your head's moving around camera stays perfectly clear no jerking or nothing so it's really really good to come in handy with if you're not in the forums to see the pictures that I've been posting about what I built or you're not seeing my website which is located down below I'll post a couple pictures for you so you can see the actual display stand that I just built uh, check it out right now See that? Pretty cool, right? All I have to do is put a uh, Digitrack system inside there so I can power the locomotives and display them and show them so you can actually see the LEDs of all the models and locomotives that they've been installed into. For now, your boy Al's going to be out, so I wish everyone a happy new year, and I'll see you on a rebound, alright? <laughs>